Welcome back to the most recent edition of the Rawlings MVC First Pitch Missouri State Baseball on the docket here with Keith Gutton. The Bears 29 and 17, 16 and 5 in the Valley. We'll talk about that in just a second. But coach, you just uh, returned from Kentucky. You take two out of three from Murray. Your thoughts in the weekend series? Well, I was impressed with Murray State, the way they swung the bat. I thought they had a good offensive club with three solid starters. We got out to a pretty good lead in that first game, but they kept battling. Uh, second game, we got out to another decent lead and were able to get their starter out. But they brought in a reliever that was very effective against us, and our guys bounced back in game three and uh, ended up winning the series. So you get eight eight extra base hits in the finale, and that went a long way in, in winning the series for you. But I'm interested to, to hear your response about the final two games of a series being a double header, and you lose the first one. First of all, your guys, especially your position players, you've got to lock in for a long time in succession if you're going to win a series uh, after you lose the first game of the double header. So focus, I suppose, is as big a thing as any when you finish up a series with a double header, right? Well, we'd come into the series playing pretty well. It felt like we were playing good baseball. <clears throat> we won the first game. We get beat in the first game Saturday, and, and I didn't think that detracted from the way we had been playing, and that was kind of my short, brief message between games. is, hey, we're playing well. We got beat. We got another game here. Let's go back to doing what we do. And, you know, when we're successful, Shane, we hit the ball for extra bases, and we pitch well, that's kind of our formula. It's not a nuclear secret, but that you look at the numbers, that's what we do well when we win, and we were able to do that in game three. Yeah, and at the time of this visit, 100 doubles and 81 home runs, so more of the same from the last couple of years. Most times, uh, Coach, 16-5, and five, playing 762 ball in the conference would have you on easy street. Bad news is you're not there just yet. Good news is the next two series you have are against teams that are around you. Uh, most specifically, SIU's coming up next. You guys had barn burners with them last year, played them six times. Uh, what do you expect this weekend in Carbondale? What's going to take to uh, take the series from those guys? Well, I thought they had a really, really good team a year ago. I know they've got some returnees. Lance has done really well with that program since taking over. So I look for a highly competitive series this weekend in Carbondale. Do they remind you of you guys a little bit? <laughs> I'll let you know after Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> they may they may feel the ball better than we do. Uh, and uh, probably being on turf will help us, honestly. And talk about your pitching staff just a little bit. You got your team ERA in the mid fours. And you talked about a little bit. Uh, you kind of alluded to it. And I'm kind of reading between the lines here. As your offense goes, so go the Bears. What's it going to take uh, for your pitching staff to hold hold those guys down and Indiana State because you got them in a couple Well, I of think weeks. our three starters certainly been solid. We've had the same three all year. When you look at their three combined one loss records, they're good. I think a big part of that pitching staff, though, is getting Trey Ziegenbein back healthy. Missed a couple of weeks with a shoulder issue. And Reed Metz has come off the shelf after missing the first eight to nine weeks of the season, a guy we were counting on. Garrett Ferguson has been really good as a true freshman, and we've put in some other bits and pieces with Forrest Barnes, Tyler Scherter. So I think a lot of it, Lance, has just been – it's taken us a while to establish roles on the mound and really in the field. When Anthony Sochi went back behind the plate, we solidified ourselves defensively while being able to keep Cody Kelly's bat in the lineup at first base. So making some moves, finding the right roles to put these guys in, and I think it's really helped us in the past few weeks. Should be an exciting weekend coming up after you play your midweek. Coach, good luck this weekend. We'll talk to you again real soon just ahead of the Valley Tournament. Thank you, Shane. Look forward to it. You got it. All right. Speaking of SIU, head coach Lance Rhodes will be next as our next stop will be in Carbondale. We'll talk Southern Illinois baseball on our next edition of the Rawlings MVC First Pitch. <laughs>